Hello friends and welcome to Friday Night Files and welcome to Ad Tony's. Let's continue this scary ass game. Last time we did some kind of ritual. Uh, <laughs> but now there's some mystery going on. Mysteries. I'm hearing those voices again. Hello? I died. Stay in the light to survive. Okay. But there's nowhere to go. It's only a corridor, right? Hello? So how do we stay in the light? Oh, let's run over to the light, maybe. Could have gone right. There was also some lights. Hello? Are we running in circles? Cannot open any doors. Hello? What's going on? This truly is a mystery. Are we at the starting point again? I guess we have to figure out where that music came from, right? Check all doors. Music's getting louder this way, right? Here we are. Annabella, Journal 3. Dear Journal, I am scared. Today is my wedding. But I can't shake the feeling that something terrible is about to happen. Yesterday, the night after I confronted Mike, he came to my room. The second he entered, my blood froze. A distinct liquor stench flooded my room, making me nauseous. He was furious. I was scared for my life. He threatened me, said he'd destroy me if I said anything to anyone, said he'd do it again if he needs to. I don't know what he meant by that, and I was scared to know. I need to stand against him for my family. Can't let him go on with this. Valentina deserves better. My mother deserves better. He'll be the end of our family. I think Annabella is the one we talked to, yeah? During, uh... During that ritual we did. Hide in the closet. Annabella? I'm not in here! He's in the room. Tip, don't lick the walls. <laughs> All right. I'll make sure I'll not lick the walls. Okay. Every day starts the same. Make a cup of coffee. There's some poltergeist activity going on in here. Coffee bags back there. My cups are in here, but I can't open it. Can I take this one? Okay. And we have more and more dishes, dirty dishes for every episode. Right? Coffee. I grab my keys. Question mark. My question mark.
Okay, did we leave the keys this time? Here we are. Time to go to my favorite place. The pizzeria. Tony's Pizzeria. Bloody walls. Oh, stay in the light, I guess. Stay in the light. There's no light. Call the elevator, please. Hurry up, man. Thank you. Let's go. That's some bloody walls, man. God knows what interesting things is going on at the pizzeria tonight. I'm excited. Lights off and turn. Need to get to the parking garage. Do you know you're part of the 5% of the population that currently has a cell phone? Some researchers speculate that we'll all own one at some point. I'm not sure about that, to be honest. I feel like we're losing something. Feels like talking to the dead to me. That's not why I called you. I think the ritual yesterday got Annabella quite disturbed. I'm assuming you've already seen a few things that are out of place. Yep. This is only the start. A little bit of advice here. As you probably remember from the ritual, Annabella doesn't like to be looked at. If you get in a situation where you're facing her, just turn off any light source and look the other way. That's probably the only way you'll get her to leave you be. Well, that's mostly theory. You'll know if it works soon enough. Alright. So we upset Annabella. That's why she was throwing dishes at us in the kitchen. <laughs> She's stark raving mad. And he said... This was only the beginning. We are not nearing the end, I guess. Hello? It's effing dark in here, man. If you see Annabella, we have to turn on the flashlight. Coming from down here. Hello? <laughs> Jesus. She scared the living bejesus out of me, man. I forgot to turn off the flashlight. I got so effing scared. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm five percent of the five percent of the population that currently has a cell phone. Yeah, you told me. Some researchers speculate that we'll all own one at some point. Should have started back from sure the basement, that, right? Honest. I feel like we're losing something. Feels like talking to the dead to me. That's not why I called you. I think the ritual yesterday got Annabella quite disturbed. I'm assuming you've already seen a few things that are out of place. This is only the start. A little bit of advice here, as you probably remember from the ritual. Annabella doesn't like to be looked at. If you get in a situation where you're facing her, just turn off any light source and look the other way. That's probably yeah. the only way you'll get her to leave you be. Well, I just look straight at her. <laughs> you'll know if it works soon enough. Let's do it again. I wish we started down here. We don't have to run all the way back every time. Every time, hopefully we'll make it this time. I can't... Ah. Okay, left click to turn off the light. Oh, Annabella. 
Where are you, bitch? Oh, oh. Turn off the lights. Aha! Oh! As soon as I turn on the flashlight, she's there. <gasps> How am I supposed to find a car like this, man? Oh, it's a dead end. Damn it. Car is right here somewhere. Not that. Oh, Jesus! Annabella, you bitch. Doesn't sound like I think I'm getting nearer. Sound from down here somewhere. Oh. Getting closer now. Is this my car, please? Nope. Oh. It sounds like it's coming from this way, but there's just a wall. It's just a wall. The way uh, from the direction I hear the the car. It must be this one. No, it was red. Yeah. We're getting there. Don't you worry. Hopefully. We are very close now. Is it this one? It's right here somewhere. Here it is. Yay! Finally we can get to work. Get in my car. Yes, please. The back door is the safe option. That's what she said. <laughs> she won't get pregnant through the back door, you know? So it is the safe option. Why? But I have to think of my mother. Yesterday, your father showed up at our doorstep and he threatened my mother. He said really horrible stuff and things he would do to her if we don't fire you. I just think you should know that stuff. Your father can't do that without consequences. I was really scared yesterday and my mom was too. After he left, she cried all night. She seemed so scared. I don't Getting know what fired. he said to her to make her so afraid. You know, it's always been difficult for my mother. 
When I started working back at the pizzeria, I was happy because I felt like I could finally support her and bring a bit of peace in her life. She never complained or said anything, but I know it's been hard for her to raise me on her own. From the moment I was born, she was all alone and she never gave up on me. I'm telling you that in hopes that you understand my decision. You and I, we never got too much time together. The way our family pushed you away wasn't fair. You may not be my cousin in blood, but you deserve to be part of our family as much as anyone else. Thank you. Tonight will be your last night. Just make sure to close the shop once you're done with the orders, and I'll come grab the keys tomorrow. Take care, cuz. It's my last night at the pizzeria? Oh, come on. I love this job, man. Oh, we already got orders coming in. Let's put some locks in here. At least four of them. Have to get the dough. Nobody made dough? Shit, we have to make the dough first. Didn't I save a picture of the recipe? I think so, on my phone. Gallery. I did. Awesome. Okay, let's go make some pizza dough. Start with the water. 200 milliliters. Then we need one kilo of Falco's flour. Falco's flour. One kilo, please. Oh, that was a little too much. 20 milligram of Falco's yeast. Let's be more precise this time. Then we need 10 grams of salt. Here we go. And we need 15 milliliters of oil. Here we go. Let's make the dough. have to make dough to make dough, right? We have to cut it. Come on, hurry up, man. Also, I saved uh, a picture with all the pizza recipes. But don't have to look at the computer every time. Jeez, they got Stagioni first. Let's make a Stagioni. Stagioni needs tomato sauce, mozzarella. Brony mushroom and ha here we go pizza oven hot enough yeah has to be between 400 and 460 if I remember correctly Okay, and now we need a pepperoni. Always tomato sauce, of course. Mozzarella and pepperoni. Oh, jeez, we forgot this one. I think maybe there's about 30 seconds left of that one. If 
kinda. The Capricciosa. Uh, maybe we can see when the mozzarella has melted. Capriosa has mozzarella, ham and mushroom. There we go. Yep. Pizza is done. There we go. This pizza in. You can see when this one is finished. As soon as the morella, mozzarella is melted. Ah, there we go. We're doing good. Trained pizza makers. Is what we are. Oh, fourth one. Second. I think we have to finish all of them before. Before the delivery guy comes. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, time's almost up. 20 seconds. Come on. Oh, there we go. Just about to check if the oven was hot enough. Come on, delivery guy. We are ready for you. Oh, making a wheel, yeah? Tough guy. Where's your helmet, dude? You want to work here? Need to drive the helmet on. For insurance purposes. Okay, we need a stagioni. Let's make a stagioni then. That needed mozzarella. Pepperoni. You put the pepperoni on. There you go. Mushroom. And ha. Oh. Is the oven hot enough? Just barely. Okay, have another order coming in. And it's a Linda. Let's make a Linda then. Maybe we need some more dough as well. Onion and mushroom. There we go. Ah, there's no mozzarella on this one. We can't see when it's finished. So, we'll do it like this. We know when the mozzarella is. It's done. Any minute now. Nothing scary going on tonight. Good to have a peaceful last night at work. Maybe. <clears throat> Let's make the last dough ready. Prepared. Here we go. And let's wait for deliver delivery guy. How much was enough? <laughs> Here. 
Give him the pizzas. Two hundred milliliters of water. And kilogram of flowers. Twenty milligram yeast. Ten grams of salt. And fifty milliliters of oil. There we go. Now what do we have here? Stagioni. Stagioni, the mozzarella, pepperoni. Mushroom and ham. There we go. Let's put more heat in here. Probably need it. Right? Yeah. Okay. Cut some dough. Hopefully the pizza won't burn. <laughs> Why is nothing scary going on tonight? In this place? I don't like it. At all. The pizza done? Nope. Okay. Now we need a cachoa. We need mozzarella, ham and pepperoni. Oh, this pizza is done. We only need the timer for pizzas that don't have mozzarella on them. That's good. Maybe we can put one more log in here. Did I hear a... I thought I heard a table or a chair move. I ah, guess I'm hearing things. Mamas. That's the first time we make mamas, I think. We need mozzarella and onion. Mozzarella. Onion coming up. Why is nothing scary going on in here? You all right, Annabella? It's too quiet, you know. It's just too quiet. Oh, speed size done. We only take three orders at a time. I swear I heard a table or or a chair moving. I must be hearing things. Well prepared. Here we go. Another order ready. Why is it so quiet? <laughs> I really don't like it. Hey, your helmet, dude. Where's your helmet? Damn it. The 
Insurance won't like that. Before you go, I'd like to tell you a story. My story. My name is Lucas Dimas. I started working in the pizzeria a few months ago. It started fine, just like any restaurant gig, if you skip the weird delivery window. After a few days, though, I started seeing things. At first, it was just some pans falling for no apparent reasons. Gas stoves being turned on, oven getting ice cold minutes after I would light it. After the first week, she showed herself to me, Annabella. I've seen her too. She was so gorgeous, beautiful in her own sadness. I felt driven to learn more about her, to share more time. I was fascinated. How gorgeous, she was, she was ugly. So much? I started dreaming, like you did. It felt good. I wanted to feel more. That's when I came up with the ritual. That's when she told me her story. What your father did to her. What he did to the family. With time, I couldn't do anything but fall deeper in love with her. What my then father day, did to her? guided me through a dream. At least, I thought it was a dream. After my jump, I opened back my eyes and I was back at the restaurant. I had a new purpose. She told me to wait, that you'd come soon and that we needed to show you the way. I'm trapped now, the same way she is. You can still correct it. You have the power to burn this place down. Let us rest for eternity. You can also walk away and abandon your family. So he's a ghost so as well. To be? See you in another dream, friend. So he's a ghost as well. What do we want to do? Do you want to burn down the place? Or leave? Let's give those spirits some peace. Light the stove burner to burn down the pizzeria. Let's do that. It's on. Okay, we put the gas on and now what? Escape the pizzeria. <gasps> he tricked me, man. He effing tricked me, didn't he? Get away from me, bitch! Get away from me, bitch! Oh, why do you got no hair? Where's your hair, bitch? How are we supposed to escape? Now that I get to. Okay. Start again. The back door is the safe option. So the back door. Is there another door here? No. Ah, there's the back door. So we have to listen to his story again. But he tricked me. Maybe you should just leave the restaurant. What? Maybe I shouldn't have hung up the the phone. Damn it! Now we're starting the whole episode over again. Hopefully not. Oh, that's way too much water. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. And 20 milligram of yeast. And salt. And 50 oil. Well, that sucks if we are starting the whole episode again, no? Hopefully that's not the case. Is 
Sure as hell, hope not. Okay, quality is not great. <laughs> but who cares? It's good enough. 94%. Tonish, we don't strive for perfection. Okay, pepperoni pizza. Made of mozzarella pepperoni. Easy. Then we have cachoa. Made the mozzarella, ham, and pepperoni. Ham and pepperoni. I'm sorry guys, for we have to start over again. And... Mamas. Made the mozzarella and onion. What a boring pizza, eh? Only mozzarella and onion. Yeah. That's what the recipe says. First pizza is done. Second pizza is done. Hopefully it's not all the way from the beginning, you know. That we have to make nine pizzas or something. Hopefully not that that's not the case. Why you no listen to me, eh? Need a helmet. Dumbass. Ah, catch over. Mozzarella, ham, and pepperoni. I should know them all by heart by now. But I don't. Capricciosa. It's mozzarella, ham, and mushroom. It's the last piece of dough, before we have to make some new, I guess. But I don't want to begin to make it dough while I have pizzas in the oven. So we'll finish these first. But what do we want to do this time? He tricked us, right? Should we just leave? 
leave the restaurant and not burn it? I don't know. That would be boring, right? <laughs> That'd be a boring ending. Or maybe not. Maybe something else happens, you know? Okay, Art, let's start making new dough. Yeah, yeah, be right there, man. Here we go. And some flour. One kilogram. And we need some yeast. 20 milligram. We need salt. 10 grams. And 50 oil. That's yeah, gonna be some good dough. Okay, we can make one pizza. In Capricciosa. Just needs... Mozzarella, ham and mushroom. Here we go. Probably need a log in here by now. Okay, done. Awesome. It's awesome that it's so fast making the dough. Hopefully my pizza is not burned. Not, it's not even done. Come on. Okay, now we need a stagioni. Sorella pepperoni. Mushroom and hat. I think this is the last batch of pizzas, right? Now we have a pepperoni. Sorella, ham and pepperoni. Only mozzarella and pepperoni. That's what I meant. Oven hot enough? Just barely. It's gonna be a long episode because of my mistake. Hope you can bear with me. And watch till the end. And if you like the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. It's totally free. And also comment what you think about this game, you know. Did you enjoy it? I sure enjoyed this game. I love indie horror games. So if you have any suggestions for some indie horror games you would like to see me play, comment down below. I am open for suggestions. Always. Okay, this time. Okay, we have no lights in here. That's fine. We know the back door is here. 
That's the safest route out. Thank you for calling me back. Let's listen to what he has to say this time. Again. Before you go, I'd like to tell you a story. My story. My name is Lucas Dimas. I started working in the pizzeria a few months ago. It started fine. Just like any restaurant gig, if you skip the weird delivery window. After a few days, though, I started seeing things. At first, it was just some pans falling for no apparent reasons. Gas stoves being turned on, oven getting ice cold minutes after I would light it. After the first week, she showed herself to me, Annabella. She was so gorgeous, beautiful in her own sadness. I felt driven to learn more about her, to share more time. I was fascinated. How could a ghost make me feel so much? I started dreaming, like you did. It felt good. I wanted to feel more. That's when I came up with the ritual. That's when she told me her story. What your father did to her. What he did to the family. With time, I couldn't do anything but fall deeper in love with her. Then one day, she guided me through a dream. At least, I thought it was a dream. I think my father is the psycho my jump, of the story. I back my eyes and I was back at the restaurant. I had a new purpose. She told me to wait, that you'd come soon and that we needed to show you the way. I'm trapped now, the same way she is. You can still correct it. You have the power to burn this place down. Let us rest for eternity. But why is she you trying to kill me? And abandon yeah? your family. So what is it going to be? See you in another dream, friend. I'm not gonna abandon my family, that's for sure. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. We know which way to go now. The back door. No? I guess we have to try to go this way first. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh let's run. Let's get the F out of here, man. See what the ending looks like. No tips here. You're stuck in the back of a car. You burned the pizzeria and escaped. An investigation was opened after the incident. Your father owned this place. He has since disappeared. It's been a week now, it's late, and you're tired. You fall asleep for the last time. Am I now? You realized what you did? I don't need this kind of heat right now. This is terrible for my business. I shouldn't blame you. That's my father. It's my fault. I didn't educate you properly. But don't worry. Soon enough, you'll understand the meaning of respect. We're going back there, and I'm going to teach you a few things. Am I now gonna join Lucas and Annabelle? I guess so. What an awesome game this was. I absolutely loved it. And it was only these three people that made the game. Jeff Mattis, Cam Bravo, and JP. What an awesome game. Please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you liked it. And any suggestions for games you want me to play, comment down below. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.